It's IBT 2023. We are on the Ross booth here at the show and we're talking open gear with Darren. Hi Darren, how are you doing? Hi Simon, really good. How are you? Yeah, fantastic. Thanks. So open gear, we, we've spoken to many of your mm -hmm. partners throughout the shows over the years. Yep. Um, so it's good to talk to Ross where open gear comes from. Um, tell us about the updates that you've had um, recently. Well, we've brought uh, a few new cards with us to uh, IBC 2023 and one other innovation that involves open gear, but it's a little different. I can tell you about that as well. Okay, so give us a run through. All right, so first of all, we've got our TES 8943, which okay. is a bank data processor card. Um, it's got the uh, very important functionality that we need for SCSI 104 insertion, uh, decoding and extraction and also things that we can do with general VANC data, again, inserting and extracting that from signals. Um, obviously not uh, the most glamorous of functionality, but certainly an essential part of any workflow, and we can support 12G with this oh. new card. Okay, nice. And besides this one, we've got our SRA8901-R. This is a bypass protection switch. Um, this is something that you would definitely use in revenue generating signal flows, especially uh, air chains. And we can use this to protect around, let's say a piece of equipment or even longer signal flows. Um, so if something goes wrong, uh, where we would like to flip over to a bypass source, we can use this to cut away from our main uh, signal source and go to the bypass for reliability purposes. And even if it's something like a power failure, if the power is cut off to this card, it will continue to pass that critical signal. Cool, okay. And finally, our SFC 6901 is a quad channel SDI fiber converter. Uh, so this is a base card that we can equip with four different SFPs. And this card is not a transmitter or a receiver, it's based on the SFPs that we install. Um, so they could be input SFPs, they could out could be output SFPs, uh, so we can do transmit, receive, or optical regeneration with this. Uh, and we've got four coaxial connectors as well with a cross point in between the uh, SFPs and those coax coaxial connectors. So we can map them however we like. Wow, uh, all on one card. All on one card, and combine that with a 12G gearbox as well. So we can do general gearboxing on this, but if we take in uh, four signals of HD that are timed and synchronous, we can actually put them on one 12G fiber as well. So we can do fiber savings here too. Wow. And are these cards all available now? They're all available and shipping right now. So Ross can quote and ship any of these right now. Okay. So that's yep. the highlights of the hardware you're showing here? That's the highlights of the hardware. But it's not um, called Open Gear for no reason, is it? It's open to multiple vendors to um, plug their technology into your into your technology. So tell us about um, any new partners you have. That is correct. So as far as the open gear ecosystem goes, uh, things are going very well there. We're at a total of 150, well, well in excess of 150 partners right now. Um, and there are always inquiries and new ones being signed up all the time. Um, we've shipped over 50,000 frames at this point. Uh -huh. And I actually just got another statistic today in that there were over 40,000 dashboard downloads last fiscal year. Um, that's, that's obviously our free and open control system. That uh, was from the Ross website only. Actually, that doesn't even count opengear.tv. So it's a tremendous number of downloads. Um, we see the innovations continuing there as well. Uh, in fact, we've just got a new dashboard release last month, about a few weeks ago. Uh, it's 9.6.1, so anybody who's not up to date should get a hold of that too. And, th and that's the unique thing about Open Gear, isn't it? That dashboard is common to any partner, any partner's technology. Exactly. It's a completely open control system, and by default, that's compatible with any partner's technology. There is no such thing uh, as any third-party integration that's needed. It's it's not no. just a Ross product. If you've got Anything that's controllable from any open gear partner in an open gear frame, dashboard is your unified end-to-end -end facility control system. And I guess the partner number is always increasing. The partner number is always increasing. Um, and you know, at this point, I've been with Ross for about a year, and so it's been kind of really enlightening for me to come to understand better um, sort of the power of that open ecosystem and 
you know, what the, the design of the frame has allowed us by giving it, you know, plenty of power and cooling to support the latest IP and UHD, um, you know, whether that's uh, done on FPGA, CPUs or GPUs, the frame is able to handle it and it's connectivity agnostic. That's what the partner does is uh, come up with a connectivity of the card. So it's led to a huge breadth of products where, um, you know, there isn't a niche or there pr practically isn't an application you can't fill with this in this type of a, a form factor. Uh, if one partner doesn't have something you need, for sure you can find it somewhere else. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we do have one other new product to show off as well, and it's not an open gear card, but it is certainly open gear related. Um, and this is uh, something that is coming, uh, kind of merging open gear into our Ultrix ecosystem, okay. uh, which is, of course, our hyperconverged router product. Um, and this is in addition to our ultra core BCS control system, which we're calling Smart Core. Uh, and it's basically port associated processing control that is merging any connected processing resources to the router. So, for example, an open gear Gator toolbox under the same control interface as you have for the router. So, what this means is that, for example, I've got some screenshots here of uh, an Ultra Touch 2 control panel. And I may have one of our Gator Toolbox cards connected to any of the inputs or outputs on this. And this is my primary router control section. So typically, if I wanted to control that open gear card, I would have to back out of this, find where that card is in the system, understand where it's connected and go in and control it. Mm. But what Smart Core allows me to do is right from the source and destination menu for router control, for example, click on that source 10, tell it I want to see the controls I've put in with Smart Core, and in this case, I've decided to control the levels, and I'm doing some video proccing here. So that was all from the router interface, again, not needing to understand where that resource was connected or back out of any menus. So this is something that really helps to fuse together our open gear and hyper-converged Altrix products. So if anybody wants to find out anything more about the new cars you've got and open gear in general, what's the best website to go to? Uh, if they wanted to check www.rossvideo.com for the products that I spoke about or www.opengear.tv uh, to see more of what the partners have available and learn about the open gear ecosystem. Fantastic. Dan, thank you very much indeed. Do check out those two websites for everything you need to know about open gear and Ross Video. And of course, for everything else we're doing at IBC, you can check that out at kitplus.com.